So Microsoft are releasing some pretty neat features for Windows 10, focusing on keyboard and mouse input methods. So let's have a look at one of the new shortcut keys. So it's Windows and full stop, and this opens up the emoji panel. So we can just scan through all the emojis that Microsoft are offering. And we can essentially input any of these emojis into a Word document or an Office document. Or we can open up a tab in the browser, such as Chrome. And we can press Windows and Field Stop to open the emoji panel. And we can input the emoji we want directly into the web browser. So that's pretty neat. Now one thing that you probably use all the time is the copy and paste feature. So say we've got some symbol and we want to copy it, then you know the shortcut key by now, Control and C. So we can copy it and we can go into the Word document and we can paste it using the shortcut key, Control and V. So that's quite useful. It's extremely useful, in fact. But what happens if we want to copy something else? Well, once again, we highlight it and we press Control and C. But what happens is once we do this, we forget the first item that we copied. And say you want to use this multiply symbol quite often, then you'll need to go back and copy it once again. And this can be quite cumbersome. So, what's the way around this? Well, Microsoft, in their new build of Windows 10, have included a new clipboard. So what we need to do is right-click the Start button and go to System. And here, what we're going to do is just scroll down, and we need to check that we have Windows 10 version 1809. And if you've got version 1809 already, then what you can do is scroll down on the menu in the left and select Clipboard. And then you can turn Clipboard History on. And the new magic shortcut key to access your Clipboard is the Windows button and V together. So because we've only turned it on, our Clipboard is empty. So let's just go back into Chrome and copy this multiply sign. And now we can copy the device sign. And we can copy the new sign. And we can copy the plus minus sign. And although I've only demonstrated with single characters, you can also copy full paragraphs of text. So once you've copied what you want, go and open up the application you want to paste into and press Windows and V, and then just select what you want to paste from the clipboard. And if you want to paste multiple objects, then just repeat the process. So as you see, the clipboard's relatively straightforward, but it's extremely useful. So one thing that I think Microsoft should look to improve next is the character map. If I press Windows and R, and type in char map, we'll see we've got this antiquated character map. And basically in the character map, it takes forever and a day to find the symbol that you actually want. Now, they could use the technology in their emoji panel to make a modern character map. And in this modern character map, they could easily group together lowercase group symbols, uppercase Greek symbols, mathematical symbols, currency symbols, and other symbols that are commonly used. So you'll notice that I managed to copy and paste an image using the clipboard. 
Now by default, this only works if the image is in the likes of Microsoft Word or on a web page. It doesn't copy every single item you copy and paste using Windows Explorer. This is probably likely by design to stop you from copying the entire contents of your hard drive to the clipboard and overfilling its memory. Okay, so I would have them use the Windows shortcut, Windows and C, for this updated character map. And I've left some feedback using the Feedback Hub. To access the Feedback Hub, press Windows and S. And here you'll need to sign in with a Microsoft account, so you can leave feedback to Microsoft. So once you've signed in with your Microsoft account, what you can do is you can search for character map and if you think having an up-to-date character map that's actually handy to use and you can find the symbols that you want to use then please upvote my feedback so it comes to Microsoft's attention and they make this updated character map. Thanks very much and hopefully this has helped you.